I'm sure many of you will recognize these. They are, of course, the notorious or infamous reefer capacitors. And in a recent project, a video I posted on a recent project, somebody left a comment saying, what's the deal with the reefer caps? Are they unreliable? And I realized that despite many people that work on this type of vintage equipment knowing all about these, maybe some people aren't aware of the issue that uh, these cause. Now, I'm not actually sure it's, it's poor design on the uh, part of the reefer capacitor manufacturers. These capacitors are generally speaking in very harsh environments. They're normally wired directly across the mains. So it's hard to say if it's poor uh, design or just the environment they work in. But I've never had a machine with these fitted where they haven't failed uh, fairly quickly and, and um, after the first few years of working on these machines, sort of decades ago now, um, I just changed these as a matter of course. And you can even see on this particular uh, set of uh, capacitors, they're all cracked, starting to bulge, and it's not long before they will fail. Now I did say in the video series in which I removed these, the piece of equipment, that I hadn't powered it up and I was going to change these first because they would almost certainly fail within a few minutes. So Murphy's Law is probably going to get me here but I thought I'd uh, just shoot this video. I've got one connected to some uh, wire, some cables. And so what I'm going to do is connect this to the mains, put mains across this and uh, see what happens. I suspect it will fail in fairly uh, short order but as I said, Murphy's Law means that it will probably sit here for weeks or months without doing anything, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. I don't suggest you try this at home. It's a bit of a, a silly thing to do, but um, I'm going to connect this across my bench uh, transformer. I'm going to set it to 240 volts, which is the nominal main supply voltage here, and we'll sit and watch it for a few minutes and see what happens. I have put a one amp fuse in the bench um, transformer just to cut down uh, any carnage if something does happen but uh, other than that it's just uh, straight mains being put across the capacitor so I'll get this set up and we'll see what happens. Okay so we're set up and ready to go I'll turn the power on and we'll see what happens. Okay, well that was about 30 seconds, so that's what would have happened if I'd powered this machine up uh, without taking the caps out. Just turn this off. And as you can see, it has completely destroyed itself. Still a bit hot. So that's what happens if you apply power to an old reefer cap that's been sitting around for any length of time. I'm not going to talk uh, too long, it's, uh, the fumes in here are getting a bit noxious, so I need to turn the extractors on. Uh, but uh, that's what happens if you apply power to reefer caps. And as I said, this lasted uh, around 30 seconds. I didn't edit the video, so it's however long it took um, from when I turned the power on to when it went bang. 
and that's what you're up against and that's why I always swap them out before applying power. There were others uh, in this machine but uh, I'm not going to try the same thing. They would almost certainly go the same way. Now I was watching this through the thermal camera and it was heating up fairly quickly so I could see what was going to happen but I didn't want to put the thermal camera between the uh, camera you're looking through and the cap. You saw what happened and I didn't want to be standing too close to it. It didn't actually blow the fuse. It's a one amp fuse in the transformer on the bench and it blew apart so quickly that the fuse didn't blow but um, normally if this was soldered into a board it would be held in place and normally it would the carnage would be far greater because it wouldn't be able to blow apart that way um, but what happened here is it just blew the end out um, the current stopped and then uh, obviously the, um, the energy stopped flowing into it but I'm um, hoping that answers the question to the person that left the comment